Hey, I'll tell you what, everybody. You know, one of the biggest things is I think that people don't keep Pike is because, Jason. The bones. The bones. Everybody's worried about the bones. And realistically, you know, you've done thousands of Pike. But realistically, they're not that hard. And, you know, when you first start doing it, you just need to take your time and to be able to get the pattern as far as where the bones lay, how they all lay. Once you got that down, it goes fast. And I'll tell you, like we were talking before on the ice, no doubt that northern pike are one of the best eating fish there is. So let's show everybody at home the process of okay. the proper we're way to gonna, do it. We're just going to go and flay a fish like you normally would. Right. So that's the first step. Just like you normally would, right down the backbone. Yep, right here, this little spine right here. That's why you, if you, you can just feel it clicking right across the top of there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, go down on the edge of that and then 45 out. Right. Like this. All the way back here. Right here is where it transitions. The tail meat has no, bone, no bones in it, so it's going to transition right about here. So we're going to go ahead. And if you use a regular knife, you can feel a little It's bit a lot better. easier, You can feel, sure. feel your knife click, 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 click right along those bones. So we're going to go right down the edge of that like that. And then just kind of out. Like that right there, right past the transition right here. Go like that. Then you'll see the other line right here. There's another little line of bones right here. Right there. Now I'm just gonna get down below that, lift up just a little bit. Come right down here to the end and straight up. That's all your bones. And you can save this for oh, pickling. Oh, I never throw that away. That is the, the best part right there. Pickle that up and then the bones are dissolved when you put it into the brine. So now, you can see we still have the back strap still attached, so this is still considered one fish for transporting. Right. Versus the five step method, you'd, be, you'd have two and a half fish. And it's really, again, it's not that hard. Once you do a, a few, and again, take your time when you do the first couple and you'll be able to feel and see how the bones lay out and it's just simple from there. And with modern technology days, you can pull up a YouTube video if you forget or if you need a reminder and put it right in front of you while you're cooking your fish. Right, and I know your wife, Shelly, and my wife do not <laughs> like bones. No, so, no, not at all, right. not at all. And she loves the pike actually better than a walleye, so. Awesome. Great table fare. All right, good deal. Keep cleaning. All right. Hey everybody, Little Stinker and I hope you love our videos. You know what, if you do love our videos and there's other things that you want to learn and see, let us know. So contact us on our Larry Smith Outdoors YouTube channel and we will try to answer your questions and help you out.